Hey everyone, good afternoon. My name is Ricardo De Cruz and I represent Gelman Auto Service and Complete Auto Reports. So today we're gonna to talk about a 2021 Toyota Highlander that we have here in the shop. And the reason why it's important to talk about it is a few days ago, we had a 2023 Toyota RAV4 that we had an interesting issue while performing the camera calibration alignment check. So on that vehicle, we had performed a dynamic calibration as it was the first one we had seen dynamic show up and we had successfully completed it. However, when I brought it in the bay to show you how to align a vehicle for a millimeter wave radar in seven steps, we had an interesting issue with the horizontal alignment. The horizontal alignment came in at about 3.5, if I remember correctly, it might've even been higher, but essentially it was way out of specification. However, the vehicle has successfully completed dynamic calibration without any issues. At this time, I do not have the Toyota flat target that they talk about that you can also use to perform the millimeter wave calibration. So I wasn't able to dive into it further. Today on the 2021 Highlander, it has the exact same requirements where you can perform a dynamic calibration. You can perform a static calibration here with the cone target, and you can perform a static calibration with the flat target. Again, I do not have the flat target, but we're going to perform the calibration with the cone target and see where we end up. I've actually done a test on this today just to be a little bit better prepared for any nuances. Uh, it does pass, and we're going to try a couple different variables. So we have set up one cone at the recommended Toyota height, and we receive, received a horizontal alignment of 0.4, which is within spec, uh, slightly high, but it's you know used equipment. This bumper was not changed. It was only removed because it had some scratches, and it was painted and put back on. So it wasn't really an accident per se. But Toyota documentation states, if you remove and install the bumper, you need to perform the millimeter wave radar calibration. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to show you the seven step alignment that I did again uh, today. I did it a little bit better and I know why I had a alignment of 0.2 on my uh, previous Toyota RAV4 the perpendicular line was not as perfect that it should have been. And I caught that at the end. Today, I've made this one a little bit better and you'll see the result. So I'm gonna switch and go into the shop now and continue. Okay, so here we have our car. And we set the plumb bob up in the rear. I'm using a different laser today. I'm using the one that you will typically see me use for a headlight adjustment. The line is significantly brighter, so it helps you see. And you can see the target at the rear. Now I removed the front target because it helped me with my squares, but I will show you the line. And then here I set up my squares the same way as the last time. I was just a little bit more precise. Here is the front square at 3,000 millimeters, as indicated by Toyota. And here is our center line that hits our plumb bob in the back. So here are the two cones. One is the Toyota OE cone. I'm sorry. One is the Honda OE cone, which can be used for Toyota. And the other is the Texas setup. There is uh, virtually no difference between one or the other, except the height. So the Honda cone has been set at the Toyota 896 millimeter height. And the Texas cone I have lowered to about 870 millimeters. 
So I did that to see if the vertical adjustment changes. And in this case, it does not, but we're gonna perform it together so you guys can see. So first I'm gonna line up my Honda OE. So you see my lines, sorry guys, I'm trying to get this thing to cooperate. Here you see my lines are as center as they can possibly be. So now let's see what happens when we go to calibrate. So we're gonna do the alignment reading first. This is GTS, which is Toyota's newest system that they gave access to the public and their dealers. So there we go. Right side 0.0, .0 upside 0 0.4. I may have misspoken before, but in the RAV4, the horizontal alignment was 0.2. And the reason it was 0.2 is because my perpendicular line was not as perfect as it is today. So today you saw me correct that, and you saw this come in at 0.0. .0. The vertical is coming in at 0.4. So there are no adjustments for this radar. It just mounts. So there's nothing I can do and we are at the correct height. And I will now take this and show you exactly where it lines up on the Toyota symbol. So if you do a lot of Hondas, you'll see this looks high. And that was the first thing that I noticed. So I tried it with how Honda does it. Honda has the center pretty much at the center of the target, or not the target, the, um, their emblem, they will have the cone at that center. So I took the Texacone, and did just that. So we're gonna set this up in the same place, and let us see where we end up. Okay. So you guys can see we're in line there. Look from the back angle. And we are in line. And now let's see what the software tells us. So nothing changed. So in this case, it leads me to believe that the placement has just slightly deformed from natural causes, meaning temperature, driving, things like that. And the angle at which the sensor is installed gives you that 0.4 reading. And short of replacing the bumper, you're not gonna be able to change that. And even with a new bumper, you may still get the exact same reading. So it is within Toyota spec. I am comfortable with that. I'm gonna remove the lower target and finish up this calibration so I can test drive it with the correct height target. So here we are. So 
So now I'm not going to go to the misalignment reading. I'm going to go to adjustment. And there we go. We will do the reading just to confirm nothing has changed. Oh, look at that. Now it recognizes that as zero, zero. So that is its new medium. We're going to exit. And so that new control there, front radar, I'm not sure you can read that correctly. There you go. Front radar acceleration sensor calibration. I don't ever recall seeing that before, so I'm going to look that up to see what that does. Uh, the real goal for today was to let you guys know that the last time I did this with the seven-step process, I made a mistake. And my mistake was that my left line was not perfect on both targets, and that mistake showed up here because my horizontal alignment was off at 0.2 instead of zero where it is now. So I hope you guys uh, find value in what we're providing here. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Everyone enjoy the rest of their Thursday.